Corporates can play an active role in the growth of the Asia-Pacific region. Speaking at a summit organized by the American Chamber of Commerce, Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Heng Sui Kiet laid out ways in which the private sector can chime in. He added that companies can help the region better manage challenges and join hands to tap growth opportunities. Chua Tian Tian reports. With a young population and a rapidly growing middle class, Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Heng Sui Kiet says the Asia-Pacific growth prospects are promising in the long run. He expects apex recovery from COVID-19 to be faster than the rest of the world. But the rebound could be limited by border closures and safety measures. Mr Heng urged firms to help out with global vaccination efforts. And this may help economies open up faster. You can make valuable contributions to COVAX. You can facilitate the transportation and distribution of vaccines. You can alleviate the fallout from the pandemic on underserved communities. And your contributions can go beyond this crisis by working together with governments and other stakeholders to strengthen resilience for the world and for Asia Pacific. The region also faces other economic headwinds, like the escalating competition between US and China. We hope that the Biden administration will bring greater predictability and nuance to the world's most important bilateral relationship. It will be good if both sides can cooperate on issues of common interest, such as the fight to contain the pandemic, global economic recovery and climate change. I hope that over time, a framework for a constructive relationship will be developed, even as they continue to compete. While the global order is determined by governments, Mr Heng hopes companies can continue to expand overseas and support efforts to develop a robust rules-based system for international trade. DPM Heng also noted that government debt levels have reached new highs in developing Asia. That's because countries have ramped up on public spending to cushion households from the worst of the pandemic. He also expressed hopes that firms won't be discouraged from investing in opportunities in the region. Corporates can play a key part in realising Asia's growth story. Just as many of you benefited from your earlier patience to be in Asia for the long haul, when growth was more nascent, I encourage you to take a long view of growth of the growth prospects of this region and continue to invest in emerging opportunities. Despite the challenges, Mr Heng says there are specific growth areas US firms can tap on, such as rising infrastructure demand, an increased focus on sustainability and a growing digital economy. Mr Heng says the Singapore government is remaking the country into a keynote for tech, innovation and sustainability to better contribute to the region's growth.